I see him sitting right here, cross-legged. He wants to be a part of our circle. My message is short and sweet, but it's very important. I notice that as women connect with their intuitive awareness, their femininity, their mothering ability, their compassion. They sometimes forget to connect with their own strength, their own power, their own certainty, their own ability to create anything they need to create. Today is about creating, connecting with your own power. And he's showing me, uh, uh, he wants you to focus in on the energy in what I call your core. Open your eyes, I draw with my hands a lot. Your core. That is where your strength resides. When that core is weak and distracted and focusing on other unnecessary things that detracts or takes away from the power that is naturally yours to access at all times. Certainty and power go hand in hand. Do you see how that works? If you are not certain of what you are doing, that, is, that certainty is like a foundation for the power to come rest upon and work within. Do you understand? Yes. yes. So many women have a tendency to think, oh, somebody else will do that for me. That's not my job. When in truth, whatever you are being asked to do, whatever you need to do, is yours to do, not to give away. It's almost as if you're saying, well, I don't need to do this because they can do it better. If you couldn't do it as well as it needed to be done, you would not be asked to do it. Do you understand? Yes. Feel the ground below you as you sit upon her with your human form. <coughs> Say hello to that sturdy, strong planet upon which you ride and exist within. Feel the strength of the earth. Become the strength of the earth. Do you feel that strength filling your energy field as you focus your awareness upon it? Yes, yes. Humans have forgotten much about themselves. It is a common joke here on the other side. But it is such a joy when one or two or three or more begin to rem remember all that they have going for themselves.
This world would be the perfect place. That civilization that we all dream to live in at this particular point in time. That civilization that we all have lived in in previous points in time and will once again soon live in here on planet Earth. You are the builders, the creators, the empowerers of not only yourself, but those around you so that they too can get off their, their couch, their pillow, stand tall in their power and create what they came here to create. All will come into form as it was meant to be when each and every one of us reconnect with our power and our strength and our intuitive ability to learn and to know how to use that power and strength correctly. For that has been the downfall of mankind over the years. Misuse of power and strength, as you all well know. When you see someone misusing their power, look them in the eyes and say, to what advantage is that? Stand there while they answer your question. Who does that serve? Does it serve more than yourself? Does it even serve yourself or does it serve those behind you who are using you as a puppet to create what they want with your mis uh, misused power? It is time for you to not only be strong, loving, kind, gentle women but it is time for you to call out mankind, whether in human or ma female form, and ask them, to what do your actions serve? To whom do your actions serve? And then wait while they look deeply inside of themselves. Stammer a bit as they attempt to figure it out. And if they have no good answer, then you kindly say, perhaps it's time to rethink the way you are doing things, is it not? For within you is the power, the energy, the strength, the dynamic creative ability to build anything you can possibly imagine. And you, what are you doing? with that power. You are sitting here and becoming a puppet for someone else who has bad intentions. Is that the story that you would like to write with your life? Is that what people, what you want people to remember you as? The perfect puppet who did absolutely nothing for him or herself but created a lot of gibberish in the process. Do you see where I'm going with this? Oh, yeah. yeah. People in the metaphysical field talk about love, kindness, compassion. What about calling people on their inappropriate actions? Because not everyone is doing those strange things to appease themselves. They are doing them because they are habits or they are controlled or manipulated by others who they feel is, are stronger than them, which indeed is a lie. The only reason those people are stronger than them is because that person they are controlling has allowed fear to be the catalyst of the energy that moves through them.
Are there any questions at this point? Hmm. Or comments? I appreciate um, hearing that we can be love and stand our in our power and stand um, for truth and confront someone else with a question that helps them see what they're doing but not in any aggressive way. Or blame or judgment. Ask that love-based kind question. To what does that serve? And then the ball is in their court. They cannot go into denial, as most people do when they're confronted with an inappropriate action that they have just com committed. Yes, thank you for commenting on that. Is there more? And, and why are you delivering this specific message to us? Because you need it. The entire world needs it. But I do not have an audience with the entire world at this time, you understand? So I speak to who shows up. Now it is your turn to speak to the people that show up in your court as you're sharing your truth with those you love most. Is there another question? Uh, for me again, it's um, observation that I'm often silent not feeling it is appropriate to speak up in those situations. Is then you become a part of the problem. Yeah. Okay. Because you do not stop the flow of poison energy, which is well within your power. You understand what I mean by poison energy? Absolutely. I have encountered many people who are in such a state of um, reactionary, uh, fearful um, density that I have been guided to speak to that person's higher self and communicate through a um, I would also I would you know I, I'm not comfortable using the word telepathy because soul to soul communication yes there you go and is that equally effective no That is a first step. That is better than nothing. But ask yourself, what if that person never communicates with its higher self? How long is it going to take that message to get into its physical mind and become a conscious awareness? <coughs> you understand? I do. Like I say, it's better than nothing. But there are other steps that are more effective. I feel an obstruction or a resistance coming up within me that I have this compelling um, feeling of wanting to remain in a state of unity and connectivity with all of life and when I have seen the, the this reactivity of being confronted 
in the presence of another person um, create temporary separation and there's something within have you said that specific word to what to what does this serve have you said that specific phrase to them um because that does not allow reactivity to occur mm. it allows thought to begin to happen in the person that you are looking at especially when you say it in a way that is kind and loving do you realize what you are doing that's another thing you can say to them mm. well you i think I, the yes i had that is what i have said and that has not been received but i think what purpose does that serve perhaps is more the crystalline core and maybe devoid of judgment have you looked at the condition of the earth lately of course As I look at it, I see ongoing dysfunctional actions, words, thought, spewing forth from each human, especially in particular areas of the planet. I'm not saying all, I'm saying when I see it, it's spewing forth from that person. There are those like yourself who like to stay in that bubble of love and peace and harmony, which serves its purpose also. But how many years, days, months, minutes, do you choose, you in your bubble, choose to float around in a cesspool full of inappropriate actions? Especially when you know one simple phrase one simple heartfelt question can begin to clean up that cesspool. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for bringing that up because that is a very common belief that has been getting you nowhere on this planet. Nowhere in regard to cleaning up the mess that people have made. Is there another question? Yes, I keep getting blocks in my solar plexus and throat. Not just now, but pretty much this whole embodiment. And I'm always working on letting go, knowing everything is love and I'm safe. And I know it has to do with speaking my truth without resistance with what we're all talking about, being in my power. And um, I know I'm being worked on right now, too. It's, it's what we're talking about. I resist, and then I let it go, and I feel good. And it comes back. So that's all I'm, I'm just putting that statement out there. And so you are describing the action of a yo-yo, correct? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. You are de describing the action of a yo-yo. Do you know what a yo-yo is? One minute it's there, one minute it's here. It's got a string. Yes, it's ball, throat, goes up abdomen, and down. solar plexus, throat. No, no, no. You're going down, up, down, up. has nothing to do with your throat. It's like one minute you're in power, one minute you're not. Yes. But it, it, it resonates, yes, in throat and here, yes. He's searching for the appropriate answer.
<laughs> He's showing me a picture. He says, I want you to turn yourself upside down and grab your feet, see yourself on your viewing, open your eyes, I'm drawing with my hands. Turn yourself upside down, your head's down here, your feet are up here. A part of you has your feet and it's shaking all that stuff out of you that you no longer need. It's as easy as that. Yes. Keep shaking. Anytime you feel that resistance, yes. stop, take a moment, turn yourself upside down and shake. Yes. <laughs> Let it all come out your head, your crown chakra, your shoulders, your arms, your fingertips, whatever surface it can escape from. For it does not serve you. No, it doesn't. And what is a uh, expedient way to get grounded in our solar plexus? Strong. Uh, he's not finished with this one. Sorry. <laughs> Keep that question okay. for a minute. And once you are empty of all those fears you just shook out of yourself, Sit yourself down physically on a comfortable chair. Focus on your solar plexus area, the core of your being. Radiate golden sunlight from there throughout your entire physical and energy bodies and become the sun. Why do you feel the necessity to ground from your third chakra? Wrong word. What? That was the wrong word for me. Uh, not ground. Uh, to to gain the, to put to regain the strength, the power. I just described it with yes, that sun did. visualization. I got, <laughs> I got it. So that was I was just exactly right. I got it. All right. Is there another question? I have a comment. And I suddenly felt, oh, I'm getting just, oh my gosh, just. Um, as in the collective, I can see, I can, it's not, it's just a knowing of using the question you have gifted us today, that it is not confrontation it is attunement with harmony. And with that person's self. Exactly. Yes, yes. Exactly. And I could, I felt it in my body as I somehow was in a state of collective Unconscious consciousness. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, denial is a word he is saying. Okay. <laughs> yes, going into the collective denial, precisely. Mm -hmm. Yes, I embraced the collective denial. <laughs> that was it. Not just one person. <laughs> the collective <laughs> denial, exactly. And yeah. then that, yes, that was of infinitely immense benefit. <laughs> now, I feel the need to say that phrase one more time and to describe li perhaps a little more clearly how you present that phrase to the person. They're doing, you see them doing something that's inappropriate, whatever that may be. 
You tap them on the shoulder and get their attention. When they look up, you look into their eyes and you say, to what purpose does that serve? Mm. In that same kind, loving voice. Mm. You may get a little sputtering, <laughs> but, 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 but no, I'm serious. To what purpose, to whom does that serve? And to whom does that yes. serve? Oh my gosh. I am feeling a close to our repertoire here, mm-hmm. unless there's one burning question that must be asked. I thank you, dearly, tremendously, from the strength of my being to the strength of your being, just to the strength of all those who live on this planet, whether awakened or just beginning to open their eyes to the truth. I am Thor. It has been a great pleasure to be here this day. Great pleasure to have you with us. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Now go out and speak my truth. Yes, 